Now, all this week we've been giving you a unique insight into the job of uh, being a primary school head teacher. Our cameras have been given unrivalled access to film Sarah Moore at work at Oak Tree Primary School. In a moment, we'll be talking to Sarah and to our education correspondent, Peter Bean, who produced the series. But first, in the final part of Head's Tales, Peter looks at one of the biggest pressures on any head teacher, improving their school's performance. Let's have a six, Lou. On a bright spring morning, Sarah Moore has swapped her office for a park to watch the school cricket team. Cricket is our forte. We were national champions for um, girls quick cricket, so that's what we're aiming for again today. Well played, great game, great game girls. Sporting success is welcome, but Sarah knows it's the children's academic achievements on which she'll always be judged. The challenge at Oak Tree Primary School is to get the best out of pupils who don't always have the easiest start in life. The school in Mansfield lies on one of the most disadvantaged estates in Nottinghamshire. Around one in four families is on benefits, almost twice the national average. Look at all this beautiful writing. It's up to Sarah and her team to ensure the children's social background doesn't hold them back. Congratulations, you've got your pen. How important are rewards in motivating children? They're really important because as you could see from all the children in assembly, from the four-year-olds all the way up to the 11-year-olds, they sparkle, they feel so proud and it makes our whole school very positive. Who can tell me what they think is going to happen? To help her move the school forward, Sarah employs the services of a freelance education consultant. Paul Spray is a former head teacher with a wealth of experience. Today he's come in to observe lessons and give Sarah some feedback. Potentially, over time, that is outstanding. Can you tell Mr Spray what this display is on? It's my job really to, to work with Sarah and look at how we can improve still further, suggest new ideas, look what's working well and further development in all sorts of ways. Just showing our special visitor who's come to have a look at some of the fantastic writing in school. There isn't just pressure to improve, the school has to show it's marking pupils' work accurately. We have got everything they've done in literacy. Yeah. A moderator working for the local authority has come to check the older children's writing. A nervy time for Sarah and Year 6 teacher Marie Gash. It is nerve-wracking because you want to get it right. You want the moderator to say, yes, we completely agree with your levelling. Half an hour later, the moment of reckoning. We've got a list here of all of the children's levels that I've agreed with looking at their books through moderation. <laughs> it's good news. The marking is spot on. Can you believe? Yes, yes, fantastic. Like it or not, this is a results business. The shelves in Sarah's office, testament to how much number crunching goes into the job. The statistics within these folders on targets, attainment and progress will be crucial at what is surely the most stressful time for any head teacher, a visit from Ofsted. How much does Ofsted colour your thinking in everything you do? It has to, um, and as do SATs and data. Um, and sometimes that can be really hard because you're doing such a good job with the children that are in your care. Ofsted is a, a very pressured experience. It can be um, a deal breaker for a head teacher, and I do know of many head teachers where the Ofsted has not gone well, and ultimately what happens is that the head teacher may lose their position. The inspectors last came calling in February and rated Oak Tree Primary a good school. A judgment more than backed up by parents. She's done huge improvements to the school. There's no bullying or anything like that. If you've got a problem, you go straight to her. She sorts it out. At his last school, he wasn't doing brilliantly. Um, he's come here and he got his behaviour's just gone up and up. The teachers and stuff here, they're fantastic. 
It's the end of the week and time to take stock. A week which has seen flash floods, and a trip to casualty to go and get you fixed, don't we? on top of all the normal challenges yes. you'd expect in running a primary school. A week in the life of a head teacher. I'm so proud of our school. Uh, the children have been as wonderful as they always are. The staff have risen to the challenge and done their usual brilliant thing with, as you've seen, a bit of banter too. The learning's been excellent and I hope that this shows our school off in a really positive and fantastic light because that's why I wanted to do it. Well, head teacher Sarah Moore joins us now, along with our education correspondent Peter Bien, who of course produced the series. Now, welcome to you both. Um, Sarah, did you actually achieve what you set out to? I think we did. We wanted to show the school in a really positive light. The children and the staff, the governors, they're all absolutely fantastic. Um, and Peter and his cameramen did a brilliant job and didn't let us down. Uh, the, I mean, the children there look you know, quite happy to be on, on camera. What reaction have you had from parents and children involved? The parents have all been really thrilled. They like to see their children looking happy and doing well. The children are just naturals, absolute naturals. We were all been quite nervous about it. They've just taken it in their stride. And um, as Peter knows, we just didn't want them to go. We wanted them to come back the following week because it was so exciting. <laughs> Well, I'm sure Peter enjoyed it as much as obviously you did, Sarah, and he's probably got plans of going back there at some stage, I guess. But one of the moments for us that stood out throughout the week, and there were many, was in particular when there was a little girl who was crying, and she's only six years old. Now, we're all parents here, and all of us warmed to you at that moment because you went over and you comforted her. And I guess for most of us, we just think that's so reassuring, knowing that if your child just needs a hug, you will do that. Yes, and um, I'm a mum too, so if a child needs a hug, they need a hug, and I give lots of hugs out at school, but also I like hugs as well, so <laughs> often if I need a hug, they'll come and give me a hug, which is great. I'll tell you what I thought was quite brave, particularly about that last um, item that we've, we've just seen, is the way you were, you were allowing the cameras to film that mm. assessment of your staff in a way. You must have been quite nervous about how that was going to go and, and quite letting us that far in terms of what we could film. Yes, we're, we're nothing if not brave at Oak Tree School but also I have some fantastic staff. In fact all of the staff are fantastic. Um, Marie Gash is an excellent teacher. Um, the local authority were great as well. They were up for letting their assessor be filmed. You have to have rigour in school. It's really important. We need people to come and check our work uh, but it was a relief uh, that it was all great and they agreed with our levelling so it was a good day. Peter, um, what did you want to achieve really with the series? I mean you obviously wanted to show how hard it was to be a head teacher didn't you? Yeah and we weren't let down. <laughs> we had those floods that was on the first day which was incredible but for me I mean I in another life I'm a school governor so I, I have a bit of an insight into the demands of Sarah's job uh, but I wanted to see it close up and to see it day in day out and well, I was amazed at the sheer demands on her time. I mean, I think we've got a piece of video we can show you now of, of her office. This is a one lunch break in one day, and the children are just coming and going all the time. I couldn't mm. believe it. I know Sarah operates an open door policy, and she's welcoming children all, all the time, but they come in to show their work, they come in to sort of show their rewards and that sort of thing, to get rewards for what they've done. And pff, to me, it was just amazing. It just, it just didn't stop. <laughs> and I think that's what people perhaps don't appreciate about the job. And I think those people that perhaps think teaching is a, a job where you come in at 10 to 9, you leave at half past 3, then you have a, a nice six-week jolly in the summer. Well, mm. I think we've put that urban myth to bed. It's also great to see the profession portrayed in a positive light, because particularly as a news programme, that isn't always the case. That must be quite comforting for people in your profession, I guess. Absolutely. And I did wonder if, um, if you were really going to show all of that, because it did seem so positive. And, and that's why I said Peter didn't let us down. Um, I did say right at the beginning, I don't want it to just be about how hard this job is and woe is me and woe is the life of a head teacher because actually it is hugely rewarding as well and and that's what makes it such a fantastic job and just finally are you enjoying your newfound fame now De definitely i think so i'm sure it'll be very short-lived but the children think i'm amazing so that's great <laughs> brilliant. brilliant thank you both for joining us thank, thank you, you. Yeah. Thanks.